Ladies Glover, you're here today with your sons, Donnell and Javon, to prove they did not father the children of the two women standing across from you. Now, Ms. Staten and Ms. Jackson, you both say you're here to demand Ms. Glover's son step up as fathers to your daughters. Yes, that's right. You argue that DNA will prove you right today when the results are revealed. Now, but waiting outside the courtroom is Mr. Brady. He claims he had a one-night stand with one of you, so he could also be the biological father. So, Ms. Glover, we're gonna handle one case at a time. Let's start with Donnell and Ms. Staten. The rest of you may be seated. Ms. Glover, please explain to the court, why do you believe your son Donnell is not the biological father of 10-month-old Ariana? Because she's a maybe baby. Um, a, I don't... a maybe baby? Yes, Your Honor. What do you mean by that? Because I didn't know nothing about her until she was in the hospital um, giving birth to the baby. That was my first time meeting her, hearing anything about her. Knew nothing of her. Yeah. Asked her what was my, what was the baby name? She told me it was gonna be Ariana Danielle Glover. Where did you come up with that from? If he's not the father, where you get this name from? So take me back. My son came into my house and said, I just got a phone call, homegirl is in the hospital. I said, who in the hospital? What they got to do with you? Oh, not. she's having my baby. Oh, no. Not having okay. your baby. Stop one second. <laughs> so you, you were on your way to the hospital with your son not knowing what girl you would see. Mm -mm. Didn't know nothing. Now, Miss Staten, did you ever meet Miss Glover? Oh, no, I never knew her, but I knew her son for eight years. So for him, but she for knew him, my son not for eight years, Your Honor. Excuse me. You knew my son for eight years. If you was really a factor in his life, I would have knew you too. For but eight if years. you knew the factors in your son's life, you should That's know who's in and out of life. We are very close. But he can father a child with a non-factor. That's understandable too. But the non-factors get talked about. My point is, is that doesn't change the fact that he could be her child's biological father. I want to understand your doubt about why this is not possible in your mind. Is this because you looks... didn't hear about her? Because I didn't hear about her, and when the baby was born, she looks nothing like him. She has nothing, now nothing of him. you said you didn't know nothing about him until you got to the hospital, but I told your son when I was pregnant, so that means he had to go and tell you, right? He didn't tell me anything. So, Because Staten, he didn't think of you, so he didn't Ms. tell Staten, me that. Oh, your son thinks of me. If your son didn't think of me, why did he lay down with me? Miss Satan. That is you and his problem. I have nothing to do with that. Ms. Staten, what I'm let saying me ask is you, you never question. was brought to let the family. Let me ask you a question. Never. You say you've been in a relationship with Mr. Glover for eight years. That's right. And it's been an intimate relationship for that many years? Yep. So, mm. the question then becomes, why are you so certain he's the father of your child. Is that the only person you were dating and the only person you were involved with sexually? That's the only person I was involved with during that time that she was conceived. Well... <sighs> and so you named her after him because Ooh, you believe... She, yes, he cried about the last name and he wanted her middle name to start mm. with a D. So me and my mm. mom put our brains together and we came up with Danielle. He agreed to it. He liked it. Mm. So that's what we stuck to. So you wow. all came up with the name together. Wow. And you're nodding your head, yes, Mr. Glover. So you did name the oh, baby? Yeah, you know, I ain't gonna lie, I thought she was mine. But you just never told your mother that you had gotten someone pregnant. Because he knew better not to come tell me something about a maybe baby. He knew better than that. He knew better than that. Oh, I see what you're saying, Ms. Yeah, Glover. He knew you're better saying, than that. You're saying that your son knew all the while that he may or may not be the father. Oh, yeah. So that's what makes you so doubtful. Yes, Your Honor. Well, if he was so, if he so, was so doubtful, why did he sign his name on a birth certificate? Because that's how he was raised to be a man. He was raised to be Yo, a man. Let a me man see. is only gonna stand his ground and do what he's supposed to do. When you raised them right, that's what he's supposed to be done. Well, if if he, he felt that was his baby, he was supposed to stand there well, and sign the birth certificate. I understand you don't all that. You, went, you jumped in that pot and helped her conceive that baby you felt, you were supposed to sign that birth certificate. This is your signature, right, Mr. Glover? You did yes. sign the yes, birth certificate. Yes, Your Honor, that's my signature. Hold on, let me, let me explain something to you real quick, Your Honor. Now, I knew she was pregnant before she was pregnant, because I, I had that gut feeling. Now, I know I had slept with her, I had that gut feeling. So I went to her, I asked her, I said, yo, you pregnant? She said, no. 
Now, a few months down the line, she finally admitted she was pregnant. It was other dudes. Now... Wait, so you're telling this court that you had a feeling she was pregnant, asked her... Yeah. ...and she denied it? Yeah. Then, when it came out that she was pregnant, uh -huh. she looked at you and said it was another guy. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Do you remember this conversation, Miss Tatum? No, Judge. As I recall of this conversation, I told him I was pregnant, and then I told somebody else I was pregnant. I only told him I wasn't pregnant by him out of anger. I wouldn't have never known I was back into the picture till one day I was at home on a Sunday, <laughs> get a knock at the door. It's a father. You see what I'm saying? We talk like men. I said what I said to him. I was like, hey, she told me with the other dude, baby. He said, yo, she told me the same thing, but would you willing to take a DNA test? I told him, yeah, I don't have a problem with it. Miss so, Staten, is that true? Did you tell your father that there was another possibility? I told possibility? my father, and yes, I told my father everything that I did. <laughs> so, the truth is, you're not positive he's the father of your child. That's where the baby baby come in at. If you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. So, you're not certain. I am. So, how are you certain if you openly admit you slept with more than one man, whether it's both in the window of conception? <laughs> I only slept with him and only him in November. I haven't touched nobody or seen anybody in the month of November. So when I found out I was pregnant, I was three months pregnant, going on four months pregnant. So where he and his mom's talking about maybe baby, how about they do the calculation and we all do the math? I can't do I, the calculation. Hey, hey, hold up, hey, hold up. Yana, let no, me go back no. real quick. Let me flip the script back eight years before this, Yana. Does anybody want to go back to the beginning? This non-factor sure has oh. a lot to do with your life I'm for I'm eight years. I'm finna hit you real quick, though, I think you're not admitting that you were actually in a relationship oh. with this young girl. How? Hold on, Yana, hold on, How? Hold on, hold on, hold on, Ma. Let me, let me hit you real quick, Yana. Let me tell you something. Now... You ain't gotta hit me. You just I, have I, to I testify. I got you, baby. <laughs> hold on, I got you. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. When I first started with Miss Day, this is another reason why I, I, I doubt that I'm, you know, I'm the father. Okay. When I first started messing with Miss Day, I was at a house one day. I get up from my table, I say, hey, I'm finna go to a fast food restaurant real quick. Give me something to eat. You wanna go? Her and her cousin. So I'm in a fast food restaurant. I hear the dudes that's making my food talking about the girl they had, you know. So when she come in the door, she walked <laughs> in and walked right back out. So I already picked two and two together. Hey, they was talking about her. Oh, you think she was avoiding them? She yeah. didn't want... She was avoiding that I was in there the same time he was in there. So, in my mind, I already think, okay, well, if you can do that, what makes you think in November after that <laughs> search? So they... Hold on. May I go to the calendar real quick? Let me show you something real quick. Oh, I would love to see your evidence. Yes, me, please step show you forward. Hold on, y'all. Let me show what you What do you have quick. here? Y'all know. I slept with Miss Staten on the 10th. Okay. Now... Of November. Yes, ma'am. All right. She said she conceived on the 30th. Now, I know math. And I know she know math. That's 20 days apart. Now, I had the Jimmy on that night, Yana. Now, I want to know how do sperm stay floating around unless I'm a bad man for 20 days. So, your point is you use protection... Yeah. ...on the 10th. That's the, that's the last time I slept with her. Now, the next November. great question is... How did I get pregnant if you was the only man I slept with and then I still had to get a menstrual cycle, baby boy? That's the million dollar question I'm trying to answer. So, okay, we all want to answer the same question. If you had on protection, how did I get pregnant? God just gave me a baby? No, you just slid it with somebody else. Have you taken care of this child? I've been there since day one. You have? Yeah. You've helped out? Yep. All right. How old is she now? She'll be 10 months. Have you visited her? Do oh, you yeah, go Ariana. see her? I mean, because of my work schedule, I'm not there all the time. But I see Ariana. I call her, make sure I talk to her. Can you testify specifically as to something you've done for this child to help care for her? One day she called me. She was like, Ariana, need the pampers. I said, okay, cool. I go in the room, tell my cousin, hey, I'm gonna give you some gas money. Roll me over here to Walmart. We took it over there, wasn't no problem. I dropped it off, wasn't no issue. My cousin stayed and played with the baby. We played we. That was the end of that. But on Father's Day, I, you know, my phone was acting a little crazy. So he called, he told me he called me all day Father's Day. I never got the call. I only got one call and I got text. He asked me where was his child. I did not reply back. And then he sent me another message saying some, 
you know, he wanted his daughter for the whole Father's Day and he was his family was gonna celebrate Father's Day. So I asked him, okay, what time you want you know, what time you want me to bring her? Hours later, he texted me with some crazy stuff. What is that? Um, his text message. Let me see that, Jerome. <laughs> so yeah. he's supposed to pick her up for Father's Day. Mm-hmm. My phone was acting crazy. And then you get this text? Hours later, yes, I did. On Father's Day? Hey. On Father's hey. Day. So it went from wanting to come get her to, since you don't want to take the DNA test to prove she's mine, I'm going to sign my rights over to y'all, hey. and I don't want no involvement hey. Hey, hold on. anymore. Hey, hold on. I'm done. Hey, hey, excuse me, y'all. Hey, excuse me, y'all. Is hold this on. from you? Oh, that's from me, y'all. Hold on. If you don't stop a a a in me... Excuse, excuse me, man. Excuse me. Hold on, y'all. Hold on, y'all. Let, let me say this real quick. Now, I planned this with her a week before time. I said, hey, I'm coming to get her at a certain time. I said, because matter of fact, I didn't even know what time my grandma and my mom was taking me and my brother out for, for dinner anyway. So I text her at 4 o'clock. I said, hey, I'm coming to get Ariana. She had no response. Now, I already been through another doubt on her head that I was Ariana's father because one day we had the meeting with her father at home about how me and her been acting, how we can't get along for the sake of Ariana. They say, okay, Ain't no, other, ain't no other dude around your child. But two days later, I pop up at the crib to see my daughter. It's another dude sitting on the now, couch. Now, that is my friend. If I oh, have friends around, oh, it's okay to bring oh, a yeah, friend so around. As long as my so, friend is not touching so, her or so, doing anything oh. involving with her. Now, now, it's so funny and ironic that when I get there, the father comes downstairs, they push me into the living room. Like, I was going to start some type of beef with him. But is this the same dude who got on the phone with me and said, hey, I'm already on a stepdad. I look after her. And then yes, that ma'am. fueled your doubt of maybe I'm not the only yes. man in her life or maybe I'm really not the father. Yes, ma'am. So that text message she's showing y'all, that was out of anger. I know the truth. See what I'm saying? But I had to prove a point to her that, listen, you keeping her away from me on Father's Day, that, that So was... when you say you know the truth, what, what truth do you know? What I'm saying is that... Her and the other dude, like, they tried to keep us so far apart when I right. was there. I already felt like it was something going on, like, somebody in the family was telling the big old lie. You feel like the whole family was keeping from you the fact that she's been involved with other men. Yeah. And they're not telling you the whole story. Yeah, S son ain't right. Okay, I mean, I'm now, starting now, to understand where very... your doubts are coming. And no, you're, I, you're, you're, you're... I'm not talking about her father. Her father, hey, her father, he could tell me anything and I believe it. Because that's how real he is. But mm -hmm. her mother... I won't believe nothing. So now, Miss Dayton, the truth is, your truth is, <laughs> your version of the truth is, <laughs> it, you had a friend over, and it was not a person you were romantically involved with during the time of conception. And so, in your estimation, that's irrelevant. It's very irrelevant. Very. Mm -hmm. All right. I think I understand where both sides are coming from. So. Ultimately, I hear you saying you're hoping that she's yours. Yeah. Yes, ma'am, I am. And you as well, ma'am. You yes, saying yes. Right. Yes. What are your hopes, Miss Dayton? Um, I don't have any because I know the truth. They know the truth. He tells me he has no doubt. Fine. He comes and say he got doubt. It's because he has people in his ear that's making him have doubt. Yana. So for him saying, telling me one thing and hearing yes. another thing and telling another thing, it's like, where's it going? Right. There's no balance in anything. Yana, you telling me one thing, you, you hear something. one thing. Okay. I, ne I never denied Ariana at all. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to say I ever did that. Because I told her mother and I told her father, I want to be there for the little girl. Mm -hmm. So at the end of the day, I don't know what she talking about. All right, let's go to the results. I think it's time. Jerome. <laughs> if he's not the father, he'll still play a part in her life because he's that attached to her. He's not gonna let her go. If he is or not, he's not gonna let her go. You're acting cavalier, but I see those tears. Oh, you love yes. that little girl. Oh, yeah. I can tell. These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics and they read as follows. In the case of Glover v. Jackson Brady Staten, pertaining to 10-month-old Ariana, Mr. Glover. 
Do you want to watch Paternity Court on TV? Go to paternitycourt.tv to find your local listings. In the case of Glover v. Jackson Brady Staten, pertaining to 10-month-old Ariana, Mr. Glover, you are not her father. I know this was a disappointment. <laughs> Unfortunately, um, your instincts were correct. And that day you walked into the house, I think your gut feeling obviously was correct. You okay, Miss Glover? Yeah. <laughs> Miss Staten, do you know who your child's father is? Yes. Because you're standing here and you're smirking Nonchalant. and you're waving the it's hair. It's all good. Nonchalant. But it, you know, you, you can't pretend with me. This is no position for a young woman to be in. All this time, there's somebody else, and you know who it is. You let these people fall in love with the baby. You see they love her. I had no doubt. So, this was good that I came up here. Oh, it was? Yeah. It was. Mm -hmm. You had no doubt. That he was the father, but now I see that he's not the father. So you were having sex with somebody else. I was. During the time you found out you were pregnant with London. I was. And there is a paternity question surrounding that child as well. Correct. Is it the same man you were sleeping with during the time Paris was conceived? No. It is not? No. So it's a different guy? Yes. I want to give you one more chance to answer. I saw your body language. You delivered the answer, then your head went down. You can tell the truth. I can't get you the answers unless you tell me the truth so we know what we need to do. Was it the same guy? Yes. Okay. So now, that's why the two children could potentially look alike, because they could potentially have the same father. Yes. But it may not be Mr. Johnson. That's correct. Okay. Mm. Wow. Does the other man know about London? He, know, he, he knows about London. He have asked me, is there a possibility that London could be his? But Gary is who my heart was with. He, he is who I wanted at the time. So... But, but listen, it's, it's, it's... Unfortunately, it is not about who the heart is with. It's about who the sperm is with. <laughs> That's where uh, the biology trumps the heart and our feelings and everything that we may want. You really wanted to be with Mr. Johnson. You wanted to have this relationship with him. You just had something for him. Yes. But since you couldn't get him to do right, you decided to do wrong, too. Two wrongs don't make rights, they make babies. Right. With paternity questions. <clears throat> I mean, this has been a bombshell. You dropped a bombshell in this courtroom today, but you needed to because you were carrying it and it was going to explode at some point. Mr. Johnson, now that you've heard this, this is news to you. I could tell when she admitted to the yes that that was news to you as it related to London. Yeah. How are you feeling in this moment? I mean, I kind of feel hurt. You say you feel hurt. Mm-hmm. Because you felt like what? That they were my baby, and I didn't feel like she was cheating at the time with London. So at that time, you really had no real clues that she was sleeping with anybody else. That's right. But your sister has been honest today. Yes. And I presume she's been honest with you. Yes. <laughs> I have. So your sister has told you that, bro, I don't think either one, I think there's a question on both. But you just didn't want to hear it. That's right. 
And like you said, that's your road dog. And who wants to believe that about their little road dog? <laughs> Nobody. Right. And that's where, you know, as fathers, we sometimes come into this courtroom and you see men and they don't want to be fathers and they don't, I don't see that in you. I don't see you not wanting to be a father. I see you trying to understand if you are the father, but I saw very much through these pictures and the way you speak about London that you love being her dad. Mm -hmm. And so I can imagine that you do feel some hurt at this point. Well, previously, this court had ordered you to submit to paternity testing as it relates to Paris. Mm -hmm. But now, this court is going to order that you undergo paternity testing as it relates to London. Because if we're going to get the answers, we're going to get all the answers. That's right. Like the old folks say, a half truth is a whole lie. That's right. And these girls do not deserve to live a lie. That's right. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to order you immediately to report for DNA testing relating to London's paternity. And we are going to return to this courtroom where I will give you both results. Do you understand? Yes, Your Honor. Court is adjourned. I'll walk you guys out. You can come up. I'm gonna go out this way. If you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. Please be seated. Hello, Your Honor. Hello. This is a case of Amos versus Johnson Jr. Thank you, Jerome. Good day, everyone. Good day. We are reconvening in the case of Amos versus Johnson. You submitted to the testing, and I have both results for you now. Before I go to the results, is there anything you would like to say? Well, it made me speechless. Hurt me. I didn't expect it. And I'm speechless. And I can see the hurt in your eyes because you were sure that London was your biological child. Yes. And so during the time since our last hearing, you've had to battle with that thought that not only one child could potentially not be your biological child, but two. How do you feel after raising London and building such a beautiful bond over the last 15 months? Betrayed. How do you feel, Mr. Johnson? Betrayed. Hurt. Miss Amos? Yes, Your Honor. How extensive was your relationship with this other man during the window of conception when London was conceived? You seemed pretty certain that there was a question. Were you with him? It Quite was, often? It was pretty much a relationship. It was pretty much a relationship. Yes. That you were having outside of the relationship you had with Mr. Johnson. Yes, I've been actually knowing him before I met him. Has the other guy, has this other person, has he ever met London? Yeah, he met her. When he saw her, did he say anything to the effect that he believes he may be her biological father? No, he, he, he never thought that he was the father. He, 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 he have seen a picture of Gary before. He have said, yeah, she, she looks like him, you know? So she, he feels like she looks like Mr. Johnson. Right. When's the last time you were intimate with that man? Maybe around two months ago. So just two months ago. It was I, right around when Paris was born? Yeah, maybe a, yeah, maybe a little bit before she was born. So this is still an ongoing relationship. You still talk to this man? I still talk to him. But you say you want to be in a relationship and have a family with Mr. Johnson? I do. And so I, 
And, and your reasoning for continuing this relationship is what? I mean, this... It's gotten you into two paternity situations. I made a mistake. Um, you know, I, I just want to make things right. Is there anything you'd like to say to Mr. Johnson? I mean, I, I can suspect that he has not been an angel in this relationship either. What do you have to say to him today? I want to say that uh, we can put all this behind us and maybe we can start over. And I still want to be with you. How do you feel about that, Mr. Johnson? I'm good. I don't... I can't be with <laughs> Because evidently, she's going to be still messing with him. That means she's been messing with him ever since I knew her. That's pretty much what she said. Are you all still intimate now? When's the last time you were intimate? A few days ago. So you were, you're still intimate? Yes. So you're basically still sleeping with both men to this very day? I mean, I have slept with him one other time, but we, we're not, you know... But whether you're in a relationship or not, you're still sleeping with both men pretty much during the same time. Still, now, we have started a very dangerous, dysfunctional, destructive pattern with you two that's not going to end when you walk out those doors. I don't think you two are done being intimate. I don't think you're done with the other guy. And what's even more complex is that I think you, there's a part of you that wants to be done with the other guy. Because I see it in your eyes when you talk about trying to be a family that I think, Ms. Amos, what you really want is a family for yourself and for your children. But whatever this dynamic is, it is messy and it's destructive. And once, as soon as somebody messes up, whatever equilibrium you all have, you head out with this other guy and you go wherever you go and next thing you know, y'all coming back to paternity court. That's what I'm really concerned about because we've got two children now who are a product of this and there could be more. Are you prepared for the results? What if one child is his but the other one isn't or neither one are? Or there's so much here. Have you prepared yourself? I haven't, but I mean, it's, it's reality. It's, we're gonna have to find out, you know? I mean, and, and we're gonna have to go from there. Have you prepared yourself, Mr. Johnson? No, I'm nervous. I won't make you wait any longer. I have the results. Jerome, the envelope, please. These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics and they read as follows. The first result is for Paris. In the case of Amos versus Johnson Jr., when it comes to two-month-old Paris Johnson, it has been determined by this court. Mr. Johnson, you are the father. Woo! Paris is your little girl. How do you feel? Feels relief. Some relief? Mm-hmm. I'm still nervous. You're still nervous? Because this next result is for London, and this is the baby you've built the biggest bond with. That's my role, dog. And you never had doubt before our last hearing? No. In the case of Amos versus Johnson Jr., when it comes to 15-month-old London Johnson. It has been determined by this court. Mr. Johnson, you are 
are the father. Both of those beautiful little babies are yours. <laughs> How does that feel? I'm happy now. <laughs> My stomach didn't stop bubbling. <laughs> How do you feel, Ms. Amos? I'm happy he's the father, but I feel like our relationship can't be worked on, can't be replaced. He don't want me. He's not in love with me. And I'm gonna take that, I'm gonna learn from that. This is difficult. Mm -hmm. You say you want the relationship, but unfortunately due to the testimony that we heard today, Mr. Johnson says he really doesn't have any interest in having the relationship anymore. But regardless, you have two beautiful children. You gotta learn how to have some type of relationship. And I don't mean a sexual one. You're gonna have to learn how to parent the children together. You all need to figure out just how to appreciate each other as friends, as co-parents, and figure that out before you try to figure the relationship part out. 